that was my my bride and my landlord and I had a a magazine assignment and they said we're waiting we're the deadline's coming up but, right. but we need a fog picture about you know if it's San Francisco you have to have fog of course at that moment the fog will not yeah will not come up <laughs> at all and so we were about my landlord invited us up for a drink uh -huh. and he was just about to pour I looked out the window in Sausalito and I said Oh my God! The fog is in. We can't have a drink. Yeah. We have to go immediately. Yeah. And so, this romantic setting yeah. it has two people saying, "For Christ's sake, Fred, we're freezing our butts here, and we need a drink." I said, "I'll buy you. I'll I'll buy you drinks." So this had very high production costs. That's, I'm sure. I'm sure. That's, they that's they didn't settle for one drink. No, I'm sure. I haven't shot film. In about five or six years, and um, some people are offended. They think, since I'm a certifiable antique, that I should be working with traditional things. Right. Uh, I put in my time in the smelly labs, but I can't imagine why anybody would do that today. Right. Uh, the digital prints that are coming out today are so much better than anything I ever did in a traditional lab. In addition to which, uh, as I've gone back to scan early things, I've been able to print things that were unprintable before. Um, we have tools that allow us to you know, expand contrast and in shadow areas, or especially the mid-tones, which were mm -hmm. tough, and um, we can clean up damaged film. And once it's, once you've been able to do something with it, you have it. Uh, there is a, a faction um, among uh, collectors and museums that seem to think that. Uh, gelatin silver is God given. I don't. Exactly. I, I don't believe that. But uh, I, I, under duress and with a lot of cash, I will do it. Uh, I won't make the prints, but it's painful, and the prints aren't aren't any better. In fact, they're not as good. I totally committed to digital. Uh, I wish I had another 50 years to play in photography because it's such a good time. You know, <laughs> you know I can wake up in the yeah. middle of the night and think, oh my God, I could yeah. do a picture like that. Right. Wouldn't that be sensational? Well, actually, even in Steichen's time, he said at one point, well, photography has become, uh, it's become so easy to make an image that right. has become very difficult to make an exceptional image. Right. Uh, and now, of course, uh, we're all spewing out images almost as fast as we can breathe. Um, so you think, well, will, will photography implode all by itself? Um, or is there really a, a thoughtful um, possibility about producing uh, major image makers. Well, of course, uh, it's so enticing. And I do meet people every day who look at all these images and say, I'm going to get out my camera again. Right. And I'm down to saying, you don't have to get out your camera, just take out your phone. <laughs> That's right. And I've seen some really wonderful stuff oh, yeah. done with the iPhone. It's true. Yeah. Um, my iPhone output is not, not ready for publication yet. <laughs> I remember running into Ansel one time in, uh, when Gasser's was out on Geary Boulevard. And I, you know, I said to him, well, what are you doing now? He said, I just got a new camera, and I'm so excited I feel like starting all over again. I thought, oh my God, I, you know, 
this this old man yeah. is is now telling me uh, that he feels like starting over again. I better yeah. stop fooling around here. I better get out there and push the button a lot. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, when I think of photographers like like Ansel, uh, Ansel, I uh, I disagreed with some of his photography, but uh, nobody could disagree with what he did for photography oh, and absolutely. what he did for a lot of photographers. I was at Art Center uh, back before World War II and I came out of the dark room with a, a wet print in the tray and I went out into the, um, into the patio and there was Ansel and I said, well, what do you think? And he looked at it and said, hmm. The reality of the light does not exist. I said, oh, thank you. <laughs> what the hell did he mean? You know, he could have told me I was making dark prints. <laughs> I did that for years. I wish he'd clued me a little bit. But people say, well, well, Fred, are you still taking pictures? I th I, maybe it's just a lack of imagination. I can't imagine doing anything less. We don't stop playing because we get old. We get old because we stop playing. And you know, the playful mind has led me to some glorious adventures. And it served me well. <laughs> and besides which, yeah. as I say, this beats the hell out of working for a living. <laughs>